and he requested the local uh, security detachment to fire into them since they refused. And the local people said, no, they can't do that. Those are their senior brothers, their parents, and others. So he took a gun from one of them and shot into this armless security of war veterans, killing three of them. That incident happened on the 28th of February, 1948. And that brought a lot of anger among the citizenry who on the political front were at the same time agitating for independence. Economically, the chief of Accra, he also had to send emissaries across the country to fellow chiefs because the local merchants were being given underhand dealings. When foreigners bring in goods, they were not allowed to pay, uh, they were not compelled to pay custom duties. But the ca local counterparts, the indigenous Gold Coasters, they were made to pay custom duties. So the people, our local people definitely must be aggrieved because they have been you know, pushed out of business. So we have three strands of discontent among the people before that incident you know, happened. So that was the last straw that broke the camel's back. There was so much rioting, boycott of European goods and a whole lot of things. And a commission of inquiry was set up. And instead of the British admit, you know, admitting its role in the whole melee, it tried to rather arrest the leaders of the political movement. When you went to the Kwame Nkrumah Park, you heard of the arrest of six people, right? The leaders. That was the incident that happened. But the Commission of Enquiry came up with his findings that, hey, Ghana must be given independence in the shortest possible time. So nine years after, this country won independence. So those people who lost their uh, life in that particular incident, played, uh, those blood played a very crucial role in the attainment of independence of Ghana. Now, the independence square, we also call it the Black Star Square. We are getting there shortly. In the flag of Ghana, you see the a black star. Kwame Nkrumah adopted this concept of the black star from Marcus Garvey. Marcus Garvey's position was that, one, Africans were uprooted from their motherland in slave ships. So he will establish a, a shipping line, a shipping company that's the black star line to bring back Africans to the motherland using the same means, but now in a reverse form. So coming Krumah, having, you know, fallen in love with the ideologies, the philosophies of Marcus Garvey, adopted the concept of the black star. And Ghana being the first African country, he decided to use that black star, embossing it in our flag. And the symbolism of it is that Ghana will be the star of Africa. And he tried to use the term black not with racial underpinnings, but to reawaken our consciousness, our values, our self of worth, which have been bastardized for centuries. So that we begin to know that we are great people. So he used the term black in ambassadorial terms. So our national soccer team was called the Black Stars. That's what I'm talking about. The female soccer team, the Black Queens. The Black Queens, I love that one. The under 16 soccer team, we have the Black Starlets. Then we have the Black Satellites, the Black Bombers for the national uh, boxing team. So the term black, 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 just to awaken our pride. Let's not forget what um, James Brown said, I'm black and proud. Yeah. Yeah. 
Hey, baby, that's Say what I'm talking about. Loud. I'm black and proud. There you go. So Say that loud. was the ideology, the philosophy of Kwame Nkrumah. He struggled. So he dedicated his whole life to the liberation of the whole African continent. That's why he said the independence of Ghana is meaningless unless it is what linked with the total liberation of the African continent. So he dedicated his whole life. And anyone who saw into the same line with him, aligned with him, the colonialists did everything possible to eliminate him. Patrice Lumumba was one. Kwame Kumar, you heard, he was on the way to what? Hanoi. To broker peace, peace between what? The Vietnamese factions. And that was when he was overthrown. A coup masterminded by the CIA. But who are the people who had a strong hand in the Vietnamese war? The Amer America. And it was America that appealed to Kwame Nkrumah to go and broker peace. So it was a world cup because they know when he is here, it's a setup. they cannot overthrow him. Yeah, yep, brother, it's a setup. They got him. So it was a trap carefully laid for him, and then he fell in, in the name of peace. Now, the path that you see to your right, this is what we call, what we call the independence <coughs> square. That is our national parade ground. This ground was <coughs> opened constructed and opened by our first president, again, Osaji Fo Dr. Kwame Kumar, blessed memory, to coincide with the coming of the Queen of England to Ghana to officially hand over the full administration of the country to the local people. The cheek of it, our country, you now grant us Republican status, our land. When we attained independence, we were running the British administration. So the Queen was still the head of state of Ghana. We only had Kwame Kuma as a caretaker, a prime minister. So it was in 1961, four years later, that Ghana was granted Republican status. So this back was constructed to coincide with that very event. So this is a very important part to us as, a, as Ghanaians. But then we need to sit down at the point and ask ourselves, are we really free? Are we really independent? My humble position is that no. Because they have not granted us independence. It's only on paper. What happened? We are now all the British colonized states have an association called the Commonwealth States, right? And who is the head of the Commonwealth? Now King Charles. So the head of the Commonwealth, the headship never rotates. I, I hope you are getting me right. The headship never rotates. It is still the British. So they still are controlling all their sub in quote subjects, all their colonies. They've grouped them now. Oh, we've given you independence, but they are all only caretaker administrators that we have. Thank you, my brothers and sisters. We'll need to talk about this later uh, or as the day rolls on. Thank you for your attention. God bless you. Thank, Thank you. you. Right. Perfect. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, I'm going.